All right, so what we're going to talk about now is lists. And the article, I think, was pretty good, and it explained kind of how everything works. Uh, a list in SharePoint is anything else, is a list like any other list you'd use. Um, it, it basically <laughs> it captures information. It's a collection of, of pieces of information, all of which have the same properties. And so I basically started off saying, when was the last time that you went to the grocery store? And for me, it's every, every week or so. And I showed you my grocery list. So you have a column uh, for title, description, price, and if you have a coupon. That's all there is to a list. Um, and basically, in any list, you have a bunch of column types. For instance, for title, it's just some text. If I added a new item, we, this might show it better. So I have my title, which I could put maybe um, paper towels. And that's text. And my description would be, you know, brawny. Bra yeah, there we go. And then price is, uh, description is text. Price is obviously a number. So if I can get three for $1.75, I'm really happy. Now, I don't have a coupon for that. But you'll see that I can't enter text into this into this field. If I saved it, it's going to say this is not a valid number. So I format that column to be a price or a number or currency. And basically, it lets you organize all of your information there like that. There's a bunch of different column types that I went over in the article, and those are like single line of text, which is title and description, multiple lines, which, for instance, if you wanted to put a notes field for, you know, if, if you, your, uh, your roommate says, hey, I need you to make sure that you get three gallons of milk because last week we ran out and blah, 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 you could put another column over here for notes that would be multiple lines of text. You can set up a choice field, which will give you the option of, of a drop down list you know, choosing one or the other. Um, if I actually go in and edit the list, you can see a choice field is similar to the yes and no field, because obviously they're both choices, but it, it would be a drop-down list similar to this. Yes and no is a specific kind of choice field. Um, if I do a number field, it's very similar to the currency field that we have here. Um, it just doesn't have a dollar sign and, and lets you use more than two decimal places. We also have date and time. Um, a lot of document libraries and lists, I've, pretty much all of them come with a modified and created date column. That's usually hidden, but you can show it, and we'll get into that when we go to views. But, but you have date and time as an option. Um, you have a lookup column, um, which you can add. So if I had a, 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 a to-do list, I could say make sure you pick up and then have a column for make sure you pick up, and then you would have a drop down that could reference something in this list. It's prob we're probably getting a little vague and, and very theoretical here, so we'll just move on from there. But a lookup is something you can look up from another list or library on the site. Uh, you have the yes or no box, like I explained just a minute ago, and like you see here on the coupon field, you can choose yes or no. Um, you have a person or group. I could add a group column and, and say assign to who's getting this. When we go to the store, I'm going to make Charles get to milk and eggs and I'll get the rest. And I can put his name in there and put my name in the other one. So you can look up a person or insert a person or group, whether it's a SharePoint permission group or it's an actual person in SharePoint, you can add them into that column. You can add a hyperlink or picture, which you can insert in there. So I could put a picture of the milk over here. You can do a calculated column. So we could have another column over here that if I have a coupon field and if the coupon field is yes, I would put in um, another field for uh, the percentage off with the coupon and then have a calculated field of the price field uh, times the coupon and do the calculation and give you the total price. Okay. Uh, task outcome, external data, and managed metadata are beyond the scope of this lesson because this is geared more towards end users. People that aren't going to be doing all these data connections and things like that, which you might be, and, and later on I might update the curriculum and the lesson for that. But for now, that's pretty much the scope of the, of the article. It's just telling you about the columns. So other than that, that's really how these lists work. Um, the other thing is, um, basically, the concept of lists is what SharePoint is geared and and revolves around. Everything is in a list, mainly because SharePoint runs off of a database. Um, but any built-in app 
and we'll get to apps later on, but any built-in app that you have from SharePoint is going to be based off of a list. So as long as you understand this, you're you're golden. You're on you're on the home stretch. Um, the other cool thing about lists and libraries is that you can export them to Excel. If you go to your context menu up at the top, click on list and export to Excel, <laughs> it'll give you the option to open or save the Excel file. So that's pretty cool too. So that pretty much sums up what lists are all about and how they work in SharePoint. Uh, take a look at the article for a little more clarification and be sure to check out our next lesson. Thanks.